So here I have the new frame parts plates for the ZMR Slim. Finally arrived. So yeah, you've got the three plates there. This is the top plate, middle plate, bottom plate. Um, I've also 3D printed some spaces so you don't have to use like or on my previous version. I've got an M3 nut and then a washer to actually get that to three millimeters because this arm thickness is three millimeters. I've 3D printed these spaces so that makes it a little bit easier and a bit stronger too really because because they're connected. Um, I've also 3D, pr 3D printed some camera mounts. So I'll start by dismantling the old ZMR Slim. Alright, so this might turn out to be a bit messy because I don't want to unsolder all these wires. Um, so I'm going to try and build the frame around this mess, I guess. Um, so this is the bottom plate. This is the middle plate. Um, well, it doesn't have to be, but that's the way I intended it. Um, I guess you get a bit more real estate here to put stuff. There's a, a few more lightning holes in the bottom one. Um, so yeah, that's like that. All right, let's uh, talk about this. Basically, um, the flight controller, I need to use little standoffs, which I should, probably should have shown you instead of just screwing that in. Uh, so I'm using these metal ones. You could use plastic ones, but because there are three bolt holes for each arm, I figure you probably want all the strength you can get. But I mean, the reason I designed it with three was because I think four is overkill. Um, so, basically, piggyback off that one, that one, that one, and that one. So, yeah, you piggyback off those arm mounts to actually bolt on your flight controller. That's the plan, anyway. Previously, I was using the Afro Mini, but I'm going to try and use the CC3D so I can uh, get black box happening. Right. Okay, so what you can see here is um, the standoffs, the middle standoffs, piggyback off the front arms, as I've just done. And no doubt you can work it out when you put all the plates together, but yeah, it's those two I'll rather this way so that's how that works so now I've got the arms bolted on at this point I was kind of stuck with my previous version um, I had to use some tweezers to try and get the um, the nut in the middle as a spacer for the camera mount but because I've got this 3d printed now that's going to slide in there and once uh, the front standoffs are bolted in, it will hold it in the right spot there for the camera. So that'll be perfect and keep it nice and stiff. And then there's also this one for the back. Now those are installed. I suppose it's a bit like a bit of a bumper. So that's pretty cool. Um, I should mention if you guys wanted to use like aftermarket thicker arms I can easily reprint these at, you know like four millimeters or whatever so let me know so here we go it's mostly assembled um, at this point I need to actually go and do some soldering uh, so I've just put the top plate on so you can see what it looks like finished um, yeah so I've got my camera mount there um, the way I designed this camera mount was basically um, as a direct replacement for the, the metal bar that it comes with. So I've only actually got one screw there. But if it's, if it's not tight enough, it actually does swivel a little bit, little bit. So you might want to put a bit of glue under there as well, underneath the mount, in between the mount and the plate, I guess. Um, yeah, so um, I've got an XT30 there. 
I'm actually going to change that back to an XT60 um, because it's kind of started to melt the battery connector actually. Ever since I've had this much tilt, um, I've been able to go flat out pretty much the whole time. And um, yeah, I'm actually starting to melt, melt the battery connectors, so that's interesting. These holes here, they're for the antennas. Um, so basically on the other one I had a cable tie around there sticking out for the diversity antennas. Yeah, so I think it looks pretty good with the naze mount there rather than the glued on um, Afro Mini. I think it's probably worth the extra few grams. Makes it nice and solid and it looks good. And the extra features. So yeah, it's going to be good. But yeah, it's obviously a very small quad steel. So here we have the finished product. I think it came along pretty well. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was the CNC cutting wasn't perfect and it was a little bit rough around the edges so I just got a bit of sandpaper and rubbed it up and smoothed it off so that worked pretty well. So as you can see the battery lead comes out the top so it doesn't get cut up. Lots of camera tilt. I've got the uh, Minim OSD at the back and that's actually working with the CC3D so that's cool. The only thing I haven't worked out yet is battery voltage. I might have to feed that straight to the Minim because I don't think you can feed it to the CC3D. That's alright. So there you go. ZMR Slim.